What's going on guys? AJ here at the House of Masks bringing you another daily video. Now today's video is pretty special to my heart. As you can see, we've got a lineup of what looks like random masks, but these are all actually masks that my grandpa used to have when I was little. Some of the first masks that I can remember ever wearing and playing with and just having in my life. And I definitely think that that had a big influence on me being a collector now. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is run down the line, show you these masks up close, and then if I have pictures of my grandpa wearing the mask, I will go ahead and throw those in as well. Just depends what I can find. And uh, yeah, I'll just explain where these masks came from, what they are, and uh, how I got a hold of them. So let's begin. Okay, so first up we've got this Fun World Skull. This skull has to be at least 25 years old. Um, I can remember it being around all throughout my childhood and everything. This is the original one. It's a vinyl mask. Um, it's probably one of the most special ones to me because, like I said, this is the original one and I can remember wearing this on Halloween. And uh, I just really, really love this mask. There's something really classic about it that just is very, very Halloween-ish to me. And uh, yeah, so it's cool to still have the, the original one. And um, I really, really love it. Some of you guys might remember from the Mailbox Monday like a week or so ago, uh, my friend Joey Romero sent in this female skull, which is the same mold, um, but as you can see it is painted all pink, and it's got added eyebrows, as well as the RIP isn't painted in, so it's not really accented. And then um, she's got like makeup and lipstick on. And it's super weird. I think it just makes it that much creepier. And as soon as I saw Joey had it, I told him that if he ever found another one to let me know, or if he was going to sell this one to let me know. And uh, he actually acted like he was going to keep a hold of it. And um, then I ended up getting it for Mailbox Monday. So that was pretty cool. I was very happy to see that. And uh, they look very, very good together as a couple. I really enjoy seeing those. So shout out to Joey. Thank you very much. This is a, a very cool thing to see, I think. Moving right along, we've got these old, what I believe to be top stone pieces, which were doing fine up until probably a couple weeks ago. I started to notice um, some heavier signs of rot. Uh, the chin's kind of crusty and folded in and stuff now. You can see the hole right there. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I just guess I'd try to keep as good a care of them as I can, and if I can find some other ones as backups, that'd be cool. And then this one as well. His head's kind of folded over on itself. And uh, I might try to see what I can do as far as salvaging them without putting holes in them and stuff. But these are also the originals that my grandpa used to have. So if anybody sees any extras of these pop up on eBay, let me know because I would like to start uh, getting backups. I'm always going to keep the originals even if they're rotten, but if they're in jars, I can't really look at them and display them and stuff. So um, you know how it goes. Next up, we've got this no name, no stamp, no idea what it is, half face, just a weird man face, but I definitely remember it being in the big black trash bag that all the masks were kept in, uh, as well as another mask that my dad might actually have. If he has it, I'm going to try to get it, but it was like a half face vampire with a bunch of piercings all over, all like in his eyebrows and his lips and nose and stuff like that, so that's another one that I need to go grab. It is vinyl, uh, so I don't think it's going to rot or anything, um, but yeah, that is uh, just another one of his masks. Also got this old wolf here in this case. Um, as you can see, that would be a lot of stuff for me to move if I wanted to get it out of there, but uh, it's just a cheap old wolf. I don't really know anything about it other than the fact that this is made in China right there on the front. Uh, as far as I know, it's in good shape. This has probably been in there for six or seven months now, so I haven't actually handled it for a while. But everything about it that I can remember seems to be intact. Uh, but yeah, I've seen a couple of those on eBay. They don't seem too rare. If I actually wanted to find another one, I probably could pretty easily. So yeah, there's that one. So here's another one. This is an old Be Something Studios piece. As you can see, it's got a hood on it. So it's a full head piece, uh, just with this latex face on it. This one's in super good condition. Um, nothing wrong with it whatsoever. I definitely remember this one a lot from when I was little as well. And keep in mind, he kept all of these in a black trash bag in the basement just for Halloween decorations. So I would always go down there and find them and get in them. 
and wear them and do whatever with them. So uh, this is the original, and I believe I have a picture of it, so I'll let you take a look at it here. And then lastly, we've got these old Topstone New Skin masks. I very, very, very much remember these because I actually had them for a long time and lost them while we moved houses. I really, really do not remember what happened to them. Uh, basically, my grandpa would have a table set up with a head on one side, a head in the middle, and then another head on the other end. And the head in the middle was his head. He would sit underneath the table and have a hole in the table with a mask on and kids would come up to get candy and they would think that it was just three masks laying there and it was actually his head so he would talk to him and scare him and stuff and normally he wore this mask and he had like the nose and mouth cut out and he would paint his face all weird underneath it and these belong to a line uh, called new skin obviously and there's one more that he had and wore pretty often that i cannot find anywhere i, I keep running into these i found probably 10 of these and i think i have like eight of them now um, i've seen a couple of these guys and i have two of them now uh, one of them I will cut. I just haven't decided which one because this one's all bright and shiny and the other one over there is vintage looking So they both look cool in their own ways I would assume that if I'm gonna cut one I'm gonna cut this one because I, I like the vintage looking one the way that it is uh, But yeah, there's a yellow one And it had like a big weird blister that was all round on its forehead And it was just kind of zombie looking and it honestly it reminded me like evil dead type stuff with a weirder paint job but as soon as I can find that, uh, I will buy it. Uh, if you guys know what one I'm talking about, if I can find a picture, I will show you. There was one on eBay probably two years ago that I didn't buy for some reason. I should have just bought it, and I've been kicking myself in the ass every day since then. So yes, uh, I'm definitely looking for that other one to get them together with this group of masks. Uh, but yeah. So that's basically what I have as of right now. There's still a couple more that I'm going to try to track down, and then I will actually display these all together as my grandpa's mask collection. Um, and then one more thing that I wanted to throw in that I definitely think had an effect on me as a child was the fact that when I was like four years old, I can specifically remember watching my first Michael Myers movie, which was this Halloween 4 with my grandpa, and then um, the house that he lived in, the guest bedrooms or whatever, our bedrooms were down in the basement so I had to sleep in the basement that night by myself and I was terrified and yeah uh, Halloween 4 that movie is a terrible terrible movie but it will always be something special to me because of that memory and um, once again I think that that had an effect on me as well so that'll just about do it for today's video shout out to my grandpa for being the fucking man he's like my best friend ever and I love him to death uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and we will see you tomorrow